welcome in this lecture we are going to understand how to determine dg or diesel generator set rating first of all we need to know what dg is it's basically a generator which is run by diesel that means the fuel is diesel here used for producing electricity during the power supply is not available that means it is an emergency power backup and how the power is provided by converting mechanical energy to electrical energy clear now here comes a very important question that is how much load we need to give under dg backup now there are two types of approach for selecting the amount of load needs to be backed up by dg first is called full backup and second is partial backup now what is full backup like this this is a hospital where very sophisticated operations or very important equipments are there so you need to give this hospital a 24 hours power supply that's why it should come under the full backup similarly if there is some research lab or a very important office like banks or any government office defense offices this type of sectors should be given full backup now what is partial backup suppose there is a residential complex okay so in this complex there is some essential loads and some luxurious loads like air conditioner or something so whenever you are working with a residential complex like this so you need to ensure that whenever the power is gone you have to give backup to your workplace like this this is a computer so if you are working solely through computers or it is very important thing for working then you have to back it up by the dg supply then you can ignore the air conditioning machines or any other loads which is not so essential when supply power is not available clear but there is an exception what is that if you are going to design the complex of or a residential place of a billionaire or even a millionaire that means a very rich person then he or she may ask you to give his residence a 24 hours power backup whether it's air conditioning or any important workplace so it solely depends on the requirement or need of the client you need to be flexible during your design or there is no hard rule for selection a dg set it varies from one place to another now the question comes how to proceed now let us discuss about a residential complex which has got suppose 50 number of floors and load at each floor should be under dg backup is equal to 2 kilowatt essentially whenever you are designing a residential complex or something where 100% should not be under dg backup then you have to mainly consider the lighting loads that should be involved under the dg backup now what is lighting loads for that go to my previous lecture that is ncb rating determination lecture where i have clearly described the difference between lighting loads and power loads so i will give you the link of that lecture in the description box below you can go and check it out so now if we come to the calculation part so total number of floors is 50 that we have assumed and load at each floor that needs to be backup is 2 kilowatt so total load 
that should be backed up by the DG set is 100 kilowatt. Now the first and foremost thing is to be remembered that DG set rating is in kVA that means kilovolt ampere. Now this 100 kilowatt load is your total three phase load. Now what is the difference between kVA and kilowatt that is kilowatt is equal to kVA into cos phi. So kVA is equal to kilowatt by cos phi. Now the standard value of cos phi is equal to 0.8. This is a standard that is maintained all over the power sector. Otherwise there will be a disbalance between active and reactive power. So if we divide 100 kilowatt divided by 0.8 it comes 125 kVA. Clear? You have got your DG set kVA rating. But the story is not ended here. You can't put exactly this 120 kVA DG set against 100 kilowatt emergency load. Then your question is why? The answer is DG set should not be loaded more than 80% of its full load capacity. What does it mean? It means if we want 125 kVA load to be backed up by the DG set, then we have to fix a DG set whose 80% rating is equal to 125 kVA. Suppose our required rating of the DG set be XKVA. Now according to this discussion that I have done here is X into 80% is equal to 125 KVA. That means X into 0.8 is equal to 125 or x equal to 125 by 0.8 is equal to 156.25 kVA. This is the ultimate rating of your DG set. Or you, we used to take a whole number that means you can take a 160 kVA DG set to back up your 100 kilowatt load. Clear? I think from now on you can easily calculate any type of DG set rating using this entire process. Now let me give you an important fact. Suppose a power plant has got four number of generating unit. This is one, this is two, this is three, this is four. Each unit is capable of generating suppose 100 megawatt that means 100 megawatt of power. So the total power generation capability of these four power plants is equal to 4 into 100 that means 400 megawatt. Now suddenly a particular hour of a day the load demands goes to 360 megawatt. That means for generating 360 megawatt of power you need to run the four units simultaneously but the actual practice is a power station never runs all its units simultaneously. That means they will run simultaneously maximum three units and one unit will be under maintenance. So even if there is 360 minus 300, 60 megawatt power shortage, still the plant will not run all its units. Now there is another question that comes to a student's mind is what about load current? If I want to determine the DG set load current capability, because sometimes 
it is determined in the form of load current or somebody may ask you about the load current capability of a DG set. Now how to determine it? So there is no confusion. As our total power is 160 kVA and this is a three phase power. So just put here root 3 VI 160 kVA. From here you can determine the value of the current that is I equal to 160 kVA by 400 where we have taken three phase voltage is equal to 400 volt that is 230.94 ampere clear I think the concept is clear to you if you have any doubts regarding these things then please mention in the comment section below